Well, a little side project here. A new set of wheels and tires on my 2000 Tacoma. Well, new to me, they're used. Uh, these wheels came off of a 2017 Forerunner. So, Forerunner is the exact same pattern. Um, I'll show you the wheels that were on here, but I've been having nothing but trouble with them since the day I brought the truck home six years ago. Um, came with excellent tires and the price was right. Uh, I bought them used off a of marketplace and uh, I think I ended up paying $240 for the whole set. Um, I had to buy lug nuts for them, so another 60 bucks on top of that. So 300 bucks for new wheels, new to me wheels, and excellent tires. Perfect. So this is why. This is the wheels that came off my truck. And as you can see, these tires are like six, eight months old. They're like brand freaking new. $800 for a set of tires. Um, the problem is, take a look inside this wheel. So these are aluminum wheels and they are chrome plated. And the problem is here on the Oregon coast, uh, we get nine months of rain out of the year. So a tiny little rust pinhole will develop and that'll allow oxygen and and condensation to get below the surface of the chrome and then start corroding the aluminum rim below it. Uh, that results in the chrome bubbling up, cracking, popping off, and leaving this this ugly looking corrosion and chipping chrome. Now outside of the wheel, that's not a problem. Uh, the problem comes when it does the exact same process in the bead of the of the rim where the, the tire meets the rim to seal and air will start leaking by. So for the six years I've owned this truck, these, the bottom three aren't bad. You'll put about five pounds in them every three months. This one, which was my rear right, I would have to put uh, 30 pounds in it every other day. And I've been fighting this <laughs> for years. So that's why the other set of wheels. Now I gotta find a replacement set of 17s these are 17s as well. Uh, coincidentally enough, the new tires that I threw on there and wheels, exact same tire, width-wise, diameter, different different make, model, brand, tread pattern, but exact same width, height, all of that, same, same rim. So I gotta find a set of wheels to mount these on. Then I'll have a summer and a winter set. Well, it's not every day you get to drive a man basket through the sand dunes. Kind of interesting. Some of our logs. It is an incredibly foggy morning. Getting ready to do some work on some cameras. And I had to go out to our new chip facility, which is located out in North 40, to steal the man basket. It's kind of funny driving it through what looks to be, I mean, it is sand. We're near the beach. It's kind of funny. Well, there's the bay. And there's our chip pile. Finished lumber out there in the yard. That big building right there. That is the sawmill. More chip pile. Out here is our log yard. Below me is the crane and our barge. More logs. Now those big giant boulders those are getting staged here to go onto a barge and be shipped out to be used to rebuild a jetty. So, all sorts of stuff going on here, but staging boulders for a jetty rebuild. Clear out here, that's our new chip facility. We're about ready to start that up. More beach. And I am on top. There's the ground way, way, way below me. I'm on top of this chip chute. So basically, they use the cat to push the chips into a trough. Chains take it up to the bottom of this and then it conveys up this long tube out the snout below me to load barges where our log barge is parked at the moment. So this thing's on wheels. It can, you know, roll out and fill chip barges. That's what I'm doing today. So we are inside of a wood drying kiln. And it's got seven of these gigantic fans up here to circulate air. We just replaced this motor. You can see the new green ground wire. 
and basically these over here are heat coils steam is pumped through them and generates an enormous amount of heat radiating off of these there's a set of those also on the other side so what these fans do is they pull the air up through that through the fans and then down the other side it's like a gigantic airflow through this dryer but this is a pretty regular thing we have to do replace these fan motors apparently it is the month for tires because we now have a shiny set of shinko triple seven white walls sitting there for the bike and here are two packages of black spoke skins so we're gonna get started so this is the result of about two and a half hours to dismount the old tire which is over here on the ground uh, install the new tire and then cut all of the black spoke sleeves to hide those ugly spokes you can see where I stopped right here where the spoke actually gets a little fatter there's a taper and the spoke gets a little fatter so I stopped there and I stopped at the nipple but I think that looks a whole heck of a lot better than dingy old ugly spokes they make these things in any color of the rainbow but I don't think pink or yellow or green would have looked too good on the Harley so I went with black but uh, I love the look of that white wall fantastic and then over here on the ground are all my little trim ends so I had to cut uh, probably an inch and a quarter roughly off of each one they're just a universal length um, but yeah I'll grab one here uh, this is what they look like you can see hopefully you can see there's a split down the side of them let me see if I can uh, get it to open up here eh, not really but yeah that's all there is to it really you just uh, split that open slip it on the spoke and just kind of snap it in place it's pretty simple so, that's where we are one down I'm freaking beat I'm gonna do the rear wheel tomorrow get this put back on the bike and call it a night I didn't get to put in the rear on the following day this is the day after the following day uh, my daughter graduated from high school, so we had their ceremony last night. Modified ceremony. Um, so here we are, two days after that, getting ready to pull the rear wheel off. We got the front back on. I think it looks fantastic. Rear one's sitting over there. So, here we go. Well, it was about time. That thing was pretty dang bald in the middle. Very little tread left at all. So I got that one off. We're halfway on with the white wall here. You can see it's not, not beaded up yet. I haven't put the tube in. Uh, tube's over here. I'm just gonna scrub it up real quick. Double check for leaks and I'll slip the tube in. Pop this side down on the bead and air it up. So that's where we are. All right, well we are uh, installed, balanced, scrubbed all the blue off the white wall. There's the old tube. It it did have a leak in it and I'm guessing it was when I installed it I must have pinched the tube with my tire irons because it had a slow leak uh, so I had to run down to get a new tube and install that but here we are ready to go back on the bike now well, we're officially back on the bike ready to ride unfortunately classic Oregon weather it is pouring down rain so we're gonna have to wait a few days anyhow I like it. Looks a lot better. And it's a lot safer. So I just got back from uh, the first ride on the new tires, and man, does it ride different. Very, very different. Um, not in a bad way, just you can tell they're new tires. Um, yeah, so I figure I'll take it easy for the first 100 miles or so. Um, they quit using the chemical release agents um which is why you used to have to break street bike tires in um you had to get rid of that chemical uh, they quit doing that quite a while back um, the reason you break the tires in now is that the molds have become so perfect so smooth that the tire is is slick until you rough it up basically so uh, that's what i'm doing now uh, the very first thing i did was just put down to our local mall parking lot and just real slow did some figure eights to rough up as much of the surface of the tire as I could. Um, and then I took it for a you know, 20, mile, 20 mile ride or so just around the outskirts of town here. And 
I figure I'll take it easy for 100 miles and then wind on her. So thank you for watching. Uh, again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, rate, and comment. We'll see you guys sometime on the next video.